Get the bird off the bus. We are at the Syrian border right now between Israel. Vicky, say hi. <laughs> so, this is the border between Syria and Israel. walking through this viewpoint that used to be an old bunker so you can see this agricultural area is all Israeli but then I'm gonna zoom in and you're gonna hear me zoom in but that village over there in the white is Syrian land how cool is that? It's really good. It's awesome. And they're putting all everything you see on it. Sorry, you want everything? Extra for this. This is Yemeni food. Some cheese concoction with like flatbread. Yum. Walking through the ancient city of Zvat. Um, it's a holy city, so girls have to cover up. But I took my jacket off, but I'm wearing linen pants. And we just had really good Yemeni food that basically just tasted like a Greek pizza. It was very, very good. But I'll show you guys where I am. Nikki, say hello. Hello. <laughs> God, it's so hot, dude. It's like 95 degrees here. The sun is beating down on us, and I have to wear pants. So it's a holy city. Holy city. The basic LA girl in me had to ask for amazing like plant-based foods so we're gonna go get almond milk smoothies because everything here has dairy which is unfortunate for me because i have i am lactose intolerant Hello. hi get out of my vlog hi matan smile yeah. The video. Hello guy, Hello. smile, so nice. poor guy. What, one moment, Muki. Bus driver, hello. Matan, our bodyguard. <laughs> Old Town Caesarea. <laughs> Caesarea. King Herod Journally were a guy that he was a Jewish. He was a Jewish. He was converted. Shh. He was converted. His grandfather was conver converted to Judaism for to Judaism by the Hashemunai, and he became to be the king of the Jews. The Romans decided that they want to bring somebody that the Jews are going to listen to and somebody that they, they can rely on. So they took King. They took Herod. They teach him how to be king. They bring him like a very big, massive of uh, group of soldiers to control the population over here. They gave him a lot of money to control it, and he came to Etisad. He came over here. He took over the crown, and he became to be the king of the Jews. I'm talking about 2,000 years ago. Sababa. Oh my God! <laughs> These are all bullet holes. 
on the facade of Jerusalem. Uh, it is very interesting. In the bottom, at the bottom of this building, we have uh, we have the tomb of King David, and in the same grave, we have Muslims that believe that this is Nebi Daoud. You know, Muslims have the most interesting uh, religions. They took all the prophets that Christianity and Judaism have and make them as their prophet too. But the small difference is that the last prophet of them is Muhammad. Muhammad. Okay, and we. This is the the biggest disagreement. <laughs> no. You <laughs> take a picture. No. I can see you right. Okay, let's walk. Okay. Put your hand on me. I'm holding it. Uh, my eyes are closed. Where is the rope? Close there. Oh. You guys are good. There's literally nothing. Wait, don't open that. Left, 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 Come to the front, come, come, don't open. I actually don't open. I can see your eyes. My eyes are closed. Are I'm positive. I'm literally okay. blind. Wait. Stop. Stop. Nah. Stop. 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 So I'm at the western wall and I'm about to put a prayer into the wall. Insane. This is the women's section and the men's section's over there. So we are Welcome here. To channel. Welcome to our channel. <laughs> Subscribe <laughs> below. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> Siren, okay, people, all these Palestinians waiting for their bus can run in, okay, if there's incoming mortar shells. This is a place, by the way, right on the left here, where a person in Israeli was hit and killed three years ago by a mortar shell that fell literally on him, okay. Uh, you can see here on the left of the wall, you see a lot of uh, damage to the wall. Thousands of rockets fell here over the years. Okay, so 
the this place has is, is, is gone through a lot and you can see the cranes also now on the left okay the wall you see is the border with Gaza okay that's the wall okay and what they are now building is the underground barrier okay so we're in the Gaza Strip today and I'm about to glue this ceramic stone that says hope against the wall separating the Israeli and Gaza Strip. I'm going to turn around and show you. It says peace in English, Arabic, and Hebrew. And down here, I'm going to zoom in real quick. Oh. Down there somewhere is Gaza. So it's so scary that missiles have been shot here several times. I showed you guys a wall already, but literally the fence that separates Gaza and Israel. And so over there is Gaza, and apparently over the last, the last two months there were over 700 missiles being shot at Israel. And so we're at the border wall that separates everything. And it's like this wall is really like. It's just like the people who are throwing missiles can't really see what they're aiming at. It's not really, I mean, obviously there's protective measures, but like not a lot. Okay, we're at the Dead Sea today. <laughs> Smile. Hey. It's fucking hot. I was really excited, but what? apparently you can only go in the water for like 10 minutes because it burns. Look. Sunrise looks like in the desert in Israel. Sunrise in the Masada. Guys, come closer. How beautiful is this? Everybody face to the cliff. One, two, three. Masada! Yeah. <laughs> Guy, where are we? What are we, what are we doing? This is the water water system. Yeah. The water system of the Masada. Yeah. We're entering the water oh, system. Where? Maybe a tomb. I'm not sure what this is. This is my stairs that I'm about to eat shit on. We are in the water reservoir in the Masada. Yes, I'm about to die of asthma. <laughs> Hello world, we're hiking in the Masada, going back because we did a sunrise hike. This is the Masada. Can you see? It's so beautiful. Okay, I'm yeah, vlogging from my phone because I'm bringing my selfie stick. Ryan, what are we doing today? Right now, we're about to go ride these camels right here. We're gonna ride some camels. For. They smell like shit. <laughs> it smells like absolute shit, and I don't know why we need helmets, but here we are. We ate eggs. <laughs> it's actually kind of scary because they're grunting and they don't seem happy. Okay, out here riding this camel. <laughs> I don't know what its name is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's gonna be Guys, no flashlight. You will see better without a flashlight. Wow. It's huge. Yeah, that's pretty big. So nature. So we just so we just checked into our hotel room. Um, I obviously just opened my suitcases to look for my shit. This is the kitchen. It's literally such a cute Airbnb. This is the bathroom. We're obviously in Israel, so it's not like that nice, but everything else is like adorable. Look, this is the living room area. We have so much space and it's great because like, I just want to be able to have room to roam around when I'm drunk, <laughs> LOL. And this is the cute little patio area. I will not be spending any time here because I'll be at the beach bronzing my skin. But this is what it looks like. Honestly, really cute. And then this is the bedroom. This will be my sleeping partner. Say hello to my wife, hello. Nikkei. Obviously, a full-length mirror is essential to be annoying thoughts. Just kidding. 
<laughs> vanity area. So honestly, so cute. Honest and if anyone has not been to Israel, this is my first time, it's honestly so fucking fun, I recommend. Oh no, just taking 